everyone Shea Bear 1000 here today we're going to talk a little bit about this vet I'm sitting in right now and the possible future of this car so stick around we'll go over some issues this thing has some that I know about some that I really don't know about and we'll go from there so sit tight and uh, let's get into this car Okay guys, so I, uh, I'm i sitting here in the vet because well, we decided we're just going to hang on to the vet for a while. We had it up for sale for a while at a cheap price, but not really cheap enough for this particular car. Um, it's just a C4 Corvette. It's a 1990. It's got issues. It's got a lot of issues. Um, it's not running at the moment. I have had it running. But when you go selling stuff like this, you know, you get the tire kickers and you get the idiots and like this one guy, man, was, oh my God, it was around Christmas time and check this clip out. Ooh. Big trouble. What? Come here. Gas tank's got to go. Well, that's not up to me. That's up to the buyer. It's a project car. No, I'm just telling you. It's the gas tank is shut. Okay, it's all full well, of rust. You know, I don't know much about the car. I had it running once. That's it. I, I, I appreciate that. You know, I, you can pick it apart all day long, you know, but I don't care if it sells or not. Whether it needs a gas tank or I don't care what it needs. If somebody wants it for a project car, it's not a weekend deal. Right. I get, I get that. I'm just letting you know. If the gas tank is shot. Well, if I'm going to keep it, I'll keep that in mind, but I'm not going to keep it. Okay. All right, very good. Listen, I don't mean to upset you. I really don't. Look, I'm just, you know, every day somebody comes by picking a park. Look, okay, it needs this, it needs that. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay? That's why it's a project car. It's right. not something you want to pay $4,000 for and drive down the fucking road. Nope. Ain't going to happen. You know, I mean, it's exactly. a project car. Exactly. If it needs gas tank, well, then it needs gas tank. But it's not. I, I can't rebuild the fucking car and totally restore it and sell it for four grand. Of and course. I'm not going to. Of course you can't. I, nobody's saying that. Nobody is saying that. I don't care what it needs. I'm telling you everything I know about it, and that's it. And I appreciate it. It's a used car. That's it. It's a project car. You're probably going to run into stuff I don't know about. But that's not up to me. That's up to the buyer. I'm telling you what I know about. But that was just one thing I wanted to check was the, was the fuel tank, what the situation was. So you, you, I suppose you like, she said it had sat a couple of years before they moved it over here. So that's always a concern. Today, the Obama does. You know, whatever. Don't get angry with me, okay? I mean, I'm a person that don't pick the fucking car apart and expect to think you're one of drag it out of here for a hundred bucks because it ain't going to happen. I don't have to sell it. I'll eat just as good tonight as I did last night. Yeah. I don't I don't need to sell it. Okay. If it don't sell, that's fine. It can sit there rot. I don't care. Okay. Not a problem. You know, I started working my dad's junkyard at 10 years old. I'm ASE certified on about everything you can get certified on. So I don't need to hear a bunch of bullshit about what the fucking car needs, what it's going to take, because I already know. And if somebody's interested in it for a project, they're going to know too. Exactly. Which I would, I would be a, approaching this just as that. So it's just a finding. It's just something I just found. Was okay. Good. Well, you know, well, I don't okay, care. It's going to need a tank. So it's just Good. something else to factor into it. That's all. Well, then factor into it. Right. I don't care. I really don't. You know, I, I had an offer, a thousand dollars, but I can't pay you for two more months. Can you hold it for me? Fuck that. I'm not, you know, no, no, it no. is what it is. Four grand, take it or leave it. I don't care. It's a project. It's not something you want to put together in two days. Okay. So that's the kind of stuff, idiots, that I was dealing with about two weeks ago. Had a, had a guy stop and I told him, you know, look, I said, the first thing I told him, I said, look, dude, because you, you can tell, you know, you can tell if a guy 
if a guy wants a project car or not. So I told him, I said, the first thing I said, I said, look, man, before I even talk to you about this car, it's a project car that needs a lot of work. He, so he wanted to talk more about it. So I said, all right, we can look at it and stuff. And I told him, I told him it does have a supercharger, but, you know, it needs to be put back together. I said, the engine had a new cam in it. It's got new heads on it. I said, it was just never finished. I said, I have had it started up. He said, oh, so I got to fix it? Well, I'm not going to fix it, you know. And he throws out, would you take $3,500 for it and I'll come back and get it? I said, no, I'm not. You know, I said, I'll take four grand for it and that's it. He goes, well, are you going to fix it? I said, dude, you get the fuck out of my driveway and get out of my driveway now. I said, I'm not even talking to your stupid ass. People want you to go and restore something and they want to give you $3,500 for it. Because I told him, I said, you know, this, this car is just not going to drive out of here. I said, and you're going to drive it down the road in the weekend. I said, it's not going to happen. You know, I told him straight up, it's a project car. I said, do you understand what a project car is? I said, it's a project, you know. And you got them people, oh, you know, it needs this, it needs that. Yeah, it does. It's a project car. Jesus. You want a Corvette that's going to just start up and go down the road? Then you better go to a dealership or something. But, understandably, these... These, uh, the 90s, the C4s, they, they weren't sought after, you know, they're not Stingrays, it's just an L98, nothing special, it's not even a stick shift, it's an automatic. It does have a couple good things going for it, um, it is convertible, it does have, uh, it does have the side pipe and the long tube head, the side pipes, the long tube headers, it does have aftermarket wheels with the spinners, um, but it's it's got some issues and so that's what we're going to talk about we decided we've been wanting to get get something for a project and work on it an old car or something we thought well we've got a corvette sitting out here you know i mean it's not eating nothing it's just sitting here so let's just you know i said if you want to keep it you know we can keep it you know so i found like the original smog pump and alternator so i think i can put that stuff back on do away with that supercharger um the only issues i might run into there is uh you know detuning it i'll get to that here in a minute we'll get under the hood of this thing uh one of the things i don't know about i've heard three or four different stories it does apparently have a transmission issue but i'm not sure what it is her mom told me it was just slipping but then her son said that it didn't want to move, and I I don't know, because I asked her, I said, the last time you guys drove that car, did you have it towed in for any reason? And she said, no. It drove in, but he was complaining that it was slipping. He's had a couple different transmissions in here. So he put, and he, they were just putting stock transmissions in it. So the problem with that is, you know, you go putting a bunch of horsepower in front of this stock transmission, and it's just... You know, you're just going to burn your clutches up in transmission all the time. So we may run into that later on. So I thought, you know, well, let's just take next year or two if you want. And I said, we'll build it. We can always put a for sale sign on it anytime we want to, you know. But we just had so, so many idiots, you know, come and look at it and picking it apart. I said, look, you know, you can pick it apart all day long. But I'm not selling a running vehicle that's in good shape. I said, I'm selling you a project car. So... You can pick it apart all day long, but you ain't going to get it any cheaper. You know, that's the price we put on it, and, and that's that's it. I wasn't going to drop any lower than that. So, I'm going to get the hood raised up. This hood's heavy because, you know, the whole front of the car flips forward. We're going to get that raised up, but there's some wires in here that I don't know what they go to. Like this one here. I don't know what that was for. Um it's just I, I don't know you know they're they're second owners of this car but you know i don't know what all was done to this car and you know things like that i have no idea about the car other than i did have it running that one time and uh i started up long enough to make sure there wasn't any knocks in it sounded pretty good but i do know uh there's some 
there's a couple planting bolts missing so it was sucking a lot of air you know so a big vacuum leak you might as well call it um so i did get a stainless steel plenum plenum bolt kit you know we did order that a while back and uh way back so i got some bolts to put in it um the distributor is not right it's not the right distributor for this car though work but it just wasn't the right one so let's get the hood opened up and and i'll show you what i'm talking about there there's what i'm talking about the distributor he's got one of them excel super coils i never did like them but this this is not the right thing for this um this is supposed to come all the way back this piece is aftermarket here um as you can see where that that's hitting at on that rubber it shouldn't sit up that high it's not the right i mean it worked but it is not the right distributor for it i ordered a distributor the original distributor that goes in this engine <coughs> Man, there is some smoke coming from somewhere all of a sudden. Woo. Something's burning. You see how hazy it is up through there? Something's on fire. Uh, here's the computer. The ECM. You know, I, I may have to change this. this. They put one of these in here. This is what you tune it. This is real-time tuner. You plug it into your laptop, and it's called an ostrich. And you can tune it as it's running. And I'm sure they had it tuned, tried to tune way up. And uh, I know he had heating issues with it, with it overheating. That's why he had to do heads on it. Um, but, and I do know he put a bigger cam in it i don't know how big the cam is so i don't know about this computer yet um this has all been tapped into that's not the original i think this is supposed to be the fuel pump relay some of them were inside there's no relays inside so i think this is the fuel pump relay so I'm not sure what's going on with there. There's a couple wires spliced into it that are going up in through the firewall and up into the dash. So I'm not sure about that. I do have the battery on the charger right now on a trickle charge on two amp charge. Had it on overnight. Uh, so, like I said, I do have the smog pump to put back on here. I do have the snorkel. It goes on here, but I don't have the original piece that goes down through here. I'm not real worried about that right now. Um, let me see. Here's the power steering pump. The smog pump sits up here, and then the alternator sits over here. So I'm not sure if I've got any changing to do here yet. Because I don't know what you know what all was changed to put that supercharger on because this would come around like this and then another piece comes around like this into the supercharger um, so instead of trying to get that supercharger put back on and everything trying to get it tuned right and everything like that I'm just putting it back pretty much stock other than the cam I'm sure he's those heads I'm sure he's had head head work done on it um, as you can see it's dirty as hell but every time I turn the camera on so let's walk around here at this other side here I know on the other side there's a plenum bolt missing there's one down back in here I think that's missing if I remember right uh, so I got some stainless steel bolts the vacuum lines are going to be a pain 
I don't know, you know, where they go. That's what that piece right up here is, another vacuum line. Um, the smog pump I'm probably not going to hook up because it's got the long tube headers on it, so the smog pump wouldn't have been hooked up anyway on it. Um, I'm not sure about the air conditioner. There's the fluid. The fluid looks not real bad. I've seen worse. Kind of looks a little milky, but it does not smell burnt. So as far as the slipping issue goes or whatever, I don't know if the clutch clutch is just let loose or what. Um, like I said, I have had it running. If I can, if I can find that clip, I'll throw it in right now. But, so yeah, this, this little piece here is an aftermarket for the bigger distributors. What it is is this top can come off of here. Um, I've only got one screw in it holding on to try to keep the moisture out of it. So what this would do would come back and this cover should be on here. And this would come back and cover that, that distributor up originally. Uh, it does have, it looks like, this piece right here, I believe this is aftermarket. I'm not positive on that, but I believe this part right here is aftermarket. Um, but he was just trying to pull all the horsepower he could get out of this thing and still drive it on the street, you know what I mean? But it, it's just a 350, really, that's all it is. It's a 350, guys. Um, it is not locked up. It will crank over sometimes. Now once we brought it out here, like I said, I had it started up in their garage, and then we had it towed out here, and once we had it towed out here, uh, nothing. So I do know they had trouble with the VAT system on it, and for you guys that don't know what that is, that stands for Vehicle Anti-Theft System. So the VAT system. I do know that it locked them in one time and wouldn't let them out and wouldn't do nothing. Now what's going on is if you go to crank it over, it's a crapshoot whether it's going to crank for you or not. Um, like it shuts everything down. No spark, no fuel pump, injectors won't fire, and that's all signs of a VAT system problem. Now I'm going to bypass that. You, you can buy a little thing that you plug into the VATS wire and it's real easy. I will get into that with you once once that comes in. I didn't order that. That's like 25 to 50 bucks depending. Um, I did order, however, resistors. All right. Now, when it, if you've, I'm sure most of you guys have, if you've had a key that looks like that, has that little chip in it, it's not really a chip it's really just a resistor okay so I've I've ordered a pack of 15 and that's how many different resistors this vehicle this year a vehicle would have was 15 different ones um, so I ordered a pack of 15 I'm gonna make my own it was like five or six dollars for them but that's what so I don't know if the key was the issue itself or if the vat system which goes there's a wire up into the tumbler up where you put this in at and it measures resistance so it knows whether somebody's trying to steal the car or not now as you can see that side there you can't hardly see that metal piece like you can on this side so 
I do know they was having trouble with that before. So hopefully that'll take care of that. Like I said, I've, I've got an original distributor for this thing. Um, I do believe I can put everything back together over there, the smog pump alternator. I may do a smog pump delete. We'll just have to see about that, which is not a big deal. It's got the original alter alternator for it, the, uh, the water pump. Sounds a little funky to me. So I, I'm not sure. I think that one's the one that runs backwards. So I don't know if it's got the original water pump on it, if it's been changed. So I'm still not sure about the heating issue, what was causing this problem. There's a, a numerous, he never had a heating issue until he put the supercharger on and that's when the thing started running hot and stuff. Um, so like I said, I'm not sure about, about what's going on there. Um, of course, you know, it's dirty as hell. It needs cleaned up and there's some extra parts in here. See, there's something clicking up under this dash. These wires, I do not know where they go or what they're for. Um, there's an extra coil. This coil's no good. I don't, I don't think it's any good. Um, you guys hear that? It's making a clicking noise. I don't know what that's what's going on with that so I mean I'm all for trying to make things fast and go fast and all that but something like this you were second owner they bought it when it was only like I don't know 10 years old maybe the car wasn't very old and they bought it and they've had it since um, so they've had it over 20 years that I'm aware of but when you have something like that, it's just a C4. I mean, why, you know, I mean, he never took it to the drag strip. He never had it on circle track or anything like that. <coughs> you know, something like this with a convertible, I just want to cruise. You know what I mean? I just want to, just want to cruise it around a little bit. Um, just an everyday driver. Get in it, drive it, and have fun with it. Um, you, you start doing all this stuff trying to make it fast you're you know there's pros and cons to it you're going there's some stuff you want to have to give up in order to do that you know so like in order to make this really super fast you know you're going to have to do stuff to the transmission maybe even change the whole transmission depends it should have had a stall converter put in it it should have had the racing clutches in the transmission it should have had a shift kit you can't just throw a big engine down in something guys with a lot of horsepower and then say I'm going to go fast. It doesn't work that way. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, it is a positive track rear end. But like right now, I jacked it up one day. This thing does not want to move. You, you can't push it or anything. You can pull it, but you cannot push this car. I jacked it up and the wheel back wheel spin free so it must be the fronts the fronts uh, front brakes I don't know it doesn't like to move forward so we'll have to get that sorted out so this is gonna be over time there's gonna be a lot of videos on this thing sorry about the wind <coughs> excuse me um, <clears throat> like let me show you something here I mean this this is called a battery tender I don't know if you can see that light on down there you plug it in and it uh, this is not, like this is not original, there's a bunch of wires going into this thing that shouldn't be. Um, this goes to the alternator, this goes to the alternator, and, let's see, chip here. And there's a wire here that goes to the alternator, I don't know why there's two. Uh, this is a, this is a ground wire, it's red but it's a ground. Um, so, like I said, I don't know. It's a crapshoot. You can turn the key on, and the fans will kick on, but you don't hear a pump or anything. Sometimes it'll crank over, sometimes it won't. When I say crank, I don't mean start. I mean, it just, it'll crank. But sometimes it won't crank. So, let's see what our chances are. 
of it cranking today because yesterday it wouldn't crank. <laughs> and when you get it to where it will crank, like I said, it won't start, but it'll crank. And then you might come out 15 minutes later and it's not cranking again. So I believe the vat, the vat system is kind of messed up on it. See, now there's nothing. No lights, no nothing. So there's some issues there. <laughs> See, the fans are running. So I had it on turquoise charge and the battery's still dead. Uh, so it probably won't even crank now, no, no how, so. But the fans shouldn't come on when the key's on. They should come on when it gets up to temperature, but. There we go. See, so, now I might come out five minutes from now and it won't even do that. So, um, like one of these wires has to be hooked up. Uh, like, so like right now, there's nothing going in to the system. No power's going into the system. So, that's just some of the things we're going to be doing on this thing. Uh, I am going to go in today in the garage and I'm going to grab that pump and alternator and see, I believe the pump goes up here in the alternator over here. Uh, it does have two alternators. I think one spins one way and one spins the other way. So one would be sitting here which would make it be spinning backwards. And the original one would be sent here, which would make it spin clockwise. So, like I said, uh, that's so I'm probably going to have to change the belt. Now there's a couple extra belts in there. So, um, that would be my guess. So anyway, I'm going to check that out here in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and get this video up for, put up for you guys. And, you know, it's like... You know, the poor girl just needs some love. Like, that mirror wouldn't be nothing to paint. Uh, but the hood has some cracks in the gel coat. I think most of them will buff out. There's some cracks back here. Along here. That's not the fiberglass. That's just the gel coat. So I might be able to buff that out. I'm not sure. This has been painted back here for some reason. And I don't know why. But it has been. So... Anyway, that's the story on the vet. It may be a haunted vet. I don't know. We may get into that later. We'll have to see. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to... Big hood, huh? Look at that thing, man. It's a monster. Here, we'll take a thumbnail like this. Okay, that'll be our thumbnail. So hopefully, I will have its own playlist. It'll just be about the vet. So that's what we're looking at. We decided why, you know, we're gonna sell this one and then we're gonna have to go look for another car that this thing's already bought, it's already paid for, you know, over a year or two. Maybe we can get this old girl back on the road again. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see, let's, let's get a, there, it looks a little longer like that. Okay, so they'll be stick around for more on the vet. It's gonna be a lot of fun guys. Fun guys. Mushrooms. Okay. So we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. And uh oh, like her mom said, you know, you guys wanna keep the car, just keep the car. You wanna sell it, sell it. But she's told told us, told me several times. Why don't you guys just keep it? All right, so I guess we're gonna hold on to it for a little while. We get tired of it or, you know, something ain't right with it, we'll just put the sign back on the windshield again, so. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.